Something happened to me, as I alluded to earlier, that changed my life. My eyes changed colour walking to the pole through damage. Our faces burnt off. Why? Because, bless them, NASA told us, yes, we walked under the hole in the ozone layer the month it was discovered. So, you know, ultraviolet rays down, hit the ice, bounced back, and it got me thinking that maybe some of these issues of our survival on Earth aren't somebody else's problem. I, I'm a great believer in solutions and I believe in storytelling. I also think the United Nations is often completely useless. And I say that from experience as having been the special envoy to the Director General of UNESCO, special envoy to the Director General of UNEP, I've spent a lot of time with the United Nations and really had sort of given up on them. But when I saw what the United Nations did um, with the climate change negotiations in Paris and how they sort of pulled their act together on these sustainable goals that at last made sense. And it's pretty hard work to get 193 countries to agree on anything. So I suddenly got rather inspired, or let's say re-inspired, by the United Nations. And I really respected these 17 very clear and understandable missions that they have. And felt that my part in that should be to inspire people. And I think that our story, and it's not mine, but our story, is a story of going the extra step. We cannot sit and think just by talking about it, we can truly make a difference. We have to change things. It's not sustainable the way we are. And sadly, the only thing I can think of doing is more bloody walking, which is, wasn't on the plan, right? So the blue line is what we did 30 years ago. And I'm going back at the end of next year uh, for the green line. And I hope you've seen one of my best friends. He should be here. Uh, Bertrand Picard, who's flying around the world in a solar plane. Taking his technology, we will survive only on renewable energy for this 600 mile journey we're making. And God bless him. My son Barney has volunteered to march side by side with his old father to be relevant, to be relevant to young people around the world. I'm so proud of him to come. I think it's terribly important to inspire young people that they can use energy in a different way. That they can have a solar panel on the back of their iPhone 7. They can have a solar panel in the window charging their laptop. They might even get their parents to buy an electric car or even have a solar panel on the roof of their house. If we do enough of that, it'll drive the cost down of renewable energy and we'll be able to use it everywhere, which kind of suits me because it means we won't have to go and um, exploit Antarctica because there'll be no financial need to go there. It was a big moment to come here for me. It was like a reawakening of my belief in the United Nations.